Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another race simulation here on PCM20 and today we have another classic, it is Classica de Almeria in Spain as you can see on the screen and yep it is today Sunday and uh, yep I think this parkour is from 2020, it's not this year's parkour, I don't have it but I have the start list which I think is the official one and yep, let's see the teams that we have here on the race, of course, we have a lot of World Tour teams in it and uh, it's a, a classic for the sprinters, at least the profile that we have here, it's for the sprinters we have the Kunic, Movistar, Quebeca and I'm drawing this right away I'm going with Quebeca Azos with Giacomo Nizo, it's maybe the most favorite that he's here with 80 of sprint uh, it's a good uh, good rider for this type of classic so yeah we are going to try to sprint with him to victory and yep yeah, as you can see we don't have all the world tour teams in it but we have a lot of them and then of course some continental teams Caja Rural, Escatel, Burgos of course some uh, teams from Spain and yep yeah, it's going to be a good race let's see what's going to happen and of course I'm racing on the hard difficulty because for me it's hard enough, so yeah, let's see if we can get a win with Giacomo Nizzo. And so guys, here we are still in the beginning of the stage. We have a breakaway of 13 riders, 3 minutes ahead of us. And we have Giacomo Nizzo with a minus 1 day. And uh, I don't think it's that important really because it doesn't affect the sprint capability. And we have some other riders from our team with a plus day, which can be a good help of course. But yeah, let's see other riders that we have here on the race. From UAE team we have Fernando Gaviria, from the Kunic we have Cavendish and Albert Odeg, from Movistar Garcia Cortina, Trek Segafred with Edward Tunes, Team Bike Exchange with Dion Smith, and the Edgy to War with André Vendrame, let's see more, Intermarché Wanting Gobert with Danny Van Popo and Boy Van Popo, these are good sprinters of course, let's see more, Coffee is with Sabatini or Nathan Haas, I don't know more we have here Astana but doesn't have a, a clear sprinter I believe maybe Martinelli but still it's not a sprinter really and then we have more Burgos with the uh, yes bullet can be a good shout or I are going with the Postelberg but it's not for the sprinters for sure and the Caja Rural with Jon Aberasturi, this can be a very good shot for today, we need to watch out for Aberasturi because can be a very good sprinter of course and uh, from Escatel we have Lobato, so yeah not uh, big names here on the race, of course we have Gaviria and Odeg but still that's not uh, a big star name that we have here on this race and uh, so yeah Nizol is one of the best here and uh, let's try to win with him and so here we are now, the last 40 kilometers of the stage and we have no more climbing to do, all the climbs that we needed to do, that is in the past and yep, the breakaway still has more than 3 minutes ahead of us which is a bit of a concern right now because we're just on the last 40 kilometers and we need to be careful of course, let's just hope that some teams will help in the pursuit of the breakaway because they have a lot of time still and it's a bit of a concern. And so now we are on the last 25 kilometers. UAE team just put their riders in the front of the peloton and now they are chasing the breakaway with a lot more pace in it. And let's hope that we can catch the breakaway in time for the final sprint. And the Movistar as well is here to help in the pursuit. And yep, let's just uh, pick a train for Nizolo and uh, then try to do our best on the final kilometers. And so last 20 kilometers, the breakaway has 1 minute and 49 seconds ahead of us. And uh, yep, they are being caught right now because of the work of Movistar and UAE, but it's not over yet. And so guys, it seems that we have some attacks here on the peloton, or at least they were attacking. Niki Tepstra, Jakobo Mosca and other guys were attacking, but of course they don't have the success to do it. And now it is Wallace from Kofidis. But they are not going anywhere, of course, because the, the peloton is making a fantastic job. Camper Nerds with a big rhythm, really. And we are entering on the last 10 kilometers of the stage. 
let's see now of course i have my train setup already Camponert is out and the, the other teammate is out as well so we just our train now in front but uh, sam bennett or sammy bennett i don't know he's doing a fantastic job really and now more attacks nikki tapster senesha but they cannot do anything and it's getting close really the breakaway is still 30 seconds ahead let's try to go now with wash it at 95 come on we are entering the last five kilometers now let's use the energy gel on everyone and this is a very a big mess really come on wow shit we are here in front we are just catching the breakaway can we do it oh my god come on the breakaway is over but why did you stop wow shit come on and let's start the sprint now with carlos barbero where is pelucci where is nizul and wow shit is going my god this is such a mess of a sprint last kilometer now let's sprint with everyone else Nizulu is going for it but they cannot do it Nizulu at the finish line but Nizulu cannot get the win the win is for Mark Saho from AG2R Citroen I have on ahead of Edward Tunes and Giacomo Nizulu Robert Stannard comes in fourth place from Bike Exchange and what a sprint this was really so fast I was not paying the attention that I needed really and Nizo had some uh, something left in it really so I was too late to to sprint with Nizolo. I didn't want to stop and in the end yeah it was a great sprint from all of the other teams really and Mark Soho gets the victory as you can see here the last few meters of this sprint everyone was sprinting and uh, as you can see here in front and uh, the guy from AG2R was in the last meters uh, just powerful enough to get the, the, the win really because he was behind the Edward Tunes I believe and yep he got the win in the end we have near another look from the top view of Mark Saho he's just chasing the wheel of our Odeg I believe and here you can see Nizolo too late to launch his sprint really and the Mark Saho as you can see here but Nizolo as well Nizolo with a great sprint on the final meters but it wasn't enough and yeah guys here you can see the results the top 10 for this race top 15 even where we have three guys in it is all just on a third place and yeah it was a very good race of course it doesn't have that much of an exciting to it just the final sprint is exciting of course nothing big of a climb that breaks the peloton and yeah the final sprint is what's matter and uh, Mark Saho from AG toward the winner, Edward Tune just in second place. And uh, as you can see here, maybe Attilo Viviani from Cofidis here on the top 10 still from Bora Hargorn, Jordi Mills, Mills, I don't know his name, I'm sorry, on the top 10. And Vendrami as well from AG toward. So yeah, AG toward now here with Vendrami on the 10th place. So he was the lead out for Mark Saho and what a sprinter really from the guy I cannot say enough let's see in a couple of hours if uh, it can be a good shot for today or not because well if it is on a good form it can be let's see what's going to happen in a couple of hours for me this is it don't forget to smash that like button leave a like don't forget to smash that like button to subscribe and to share with all of your friends stay safe bye bye